did you think that he could win this thing as, as lopsided as this vote went? Because, you know, King Felix had a pretty good year, too, but uh, the voters looked at Zach Greinke and just said, this is clearly the best pitcher in the American League. Uh, you know, I, I remember that conversation, and I first, I appreciate you giving me an opportunity to give my pitch, and I'm glad it worked out for Zach getting this award, because I definitely think he's deserving. The, the thing that I guess uh, I'm happiest about is, uh, that the voters themselves didn't get didn't get too wrapped up in the total number of wins, and that was my biggest concern. Um, you know, there with about a month left to go in the season, uh, there was a lot of CC Sabathia buzz uh, because of the number of wins, and, and then thankfully the conversation went to uh, you know look at the run support, look at the number of runs that they score for him in that ballpark in Yankee Stadium, and then uh, yeah, I, I felt like. Our people, even though I, I felt like Zach deserved it, I, I felt like our people, Mike Swanson uh, specifically, I, I felt like they marketed it uh, the right way because there is a certain amount, as you guys know, a certain amount of marketing and uh, that goes along with this. But at the end of the day, I felt like the voters made the right choice. Let's go through some of the numbers that back up the case for Zach Greinke as the Cy Young winner. 16-8, and eight, it's the lowest win total ever in the American League for a starter outside of when, actually when Cohn won it in 1986 in a shortened season. But his ERA at 2.16 was the lowest since Roger Clemens. And only four men have ever posted a lower ERA in the American League since the DH era began. Granke, Pedro Martinez twice, Clemens twice, Ron Guidry, and Jim Palmer. And to me, Trey, this is a number that will blow anybody away. He had an ERA under one against American League playoff teams. Yeah, it's it's pretty amazing, especially being in the American League, as you've already stated and alluded to. It's uh, you know, for a guy to be able to to do that, and and honestly, when we even though we lacked run production uh, this season, and that was a frustrating point for our club uh, all the time, but specifically as the season wore on, and we knew that Zach was going to go out there, and, and you know on pretty much every day that he starts he's going to go out there and <clears throat> give up a max of two runs and and you sit there and you look at it and you say okay we got to figure out a way to put three on the board but that's the kind of confidence uh that kind of ability and that kind of performance throughout the course of the season will give a club uh and, and that's the way the field was once these guys took the field no one zach's on the mound today most likely he's going to give us a, a minimum of seven and might pitch a complete game for us and a lot of days uh the bullpen knew, well, most of us are going to get a lot of rest today. 